the book get paid for your pad well today i've got the author of the book one of the best-selling books about airbnb on the boostly podcast we've got jasper ribbers who is all the way speaking to me from barcelona in spain he's originally from amsterdam he was originally in the day trade my, uh, my name is jasper rivers started on the in 2012, Airbnb hosting back in uh, Amsterdam. And uh, back in the day, uh, there was not a lot of information about Airbnb. So I kind of had to figure everything out by myself. But after that, you know, I just I just realized I didn't want to sit in an office the rest of my life and just looking at these flat screens. The traveling Dutchman, explain to us a little, a little bit more about that. That was also born out of kind of out of necessity as well. What happened was, you know, when I started traveling back in 2010, we didn't have a uh, WhatsApp and you couldn't call each other for free and stuff like that. Technology wasn't as advanced. And uh, you've mentioned the book a few times. What is the book called and, and why did you want to, to write a book? You know, writing a book is a mammoth task. Like, what was the thinking behind it? What is it called and, and where can people get it? When I when I started writing my travel blo travel blog, well, let me tell you the, the book first. So the book is called Get Paid for Your Pad, right? And it's on Amazon. You know, I originally wrote a travel book. After I started writing on my, on my travel blog, I thought it'd be really useful information for people to know how how to travel the world, which was what I was doing. And so I wrote a book. I hired a cartoonist. I hired an editor. I spent uh, quite a bit of money on it, actually. What I would love to hear from you, and I think this is a real good advice to pass to everybody, is when you see people getting started in short-term renting, short-term accommodation, what is the one main mistake that you have seen new hosts make when they get started? They, I think they, they don't realize what it entails. What what a lot of people do is they just create a listing. They put some pictures up. You know, they take them with their smartphone, put some pictures up. You know, a couple paragraphs of on the, of a description, and then they sit back, and then they are like, "Why am I not getting bookings?" <laughs> what would be one of the first sort of comeback questions that that you would normally give back to your students, the people that are uh, a part of your program? You know, look at the look at the customer journey on Airbnb or whatever platform you're on. You got to understand the customer journey. I always say if you haven't been an Airbnb guest yet, if you haven't stayed at an Airbnb, that's the first thing you got to do because you got to understand your your customer, right? And the best way to understand your customer is to to be the customer. You know, you you got to you got to understand like why what do people look at when they look at a listing, right? So start with yourself. What do you look at? when you look at a listing, right? What would be your number one advice to anybody listening to help them increase their direct booking? So this is obviously a direct booking podcast, a direct booking show. Boost is all about direct bookings. What would be your number one little bit of advice to help? Well, I'll, I'll go with uh, with the, the medium that has brought my myself uh, a lot of direct bookings uh, for our uh, boutique hotel in Egypt. We we have a uh, kite, it's a kite surfing, surfing school slash hotel right so we get a lot of leads through instagram mm -hmm. right because kite surfers they're all on instagram right so my tip is and you know you you gave this tip to 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 my group the when when you were doing your training in our group uh you got to think about your avatar right uh so for me it's it's uh it's instagram <laughs>